Ooh. Hey, uh, my name is Troy Sanders from the band Mastodon, and this is my own Silverburst Jaguar signature bass guitar. Over the years, being flanked live on stage by stage right guitar player Brent Hines and stage left guitar player Bill Kelleher, they've gone through many, many Silverburst guitars and it's gorgeous. And being in the middle of the stage, I always wanted to be like a really tasty mayonnaise or mustard to really glue the sandwich together and make it just scrumptious. So I always wanted a Silverburst. I don't believe Fender's done a signature model in the Silverburst configuration or paint scheme. Uh, one thing that we wanted to do with this model was to simplify it a bit from the standard Jaguar. Notice the silver burst. You have to keep that continuity. Very important. This is also an active 20 scale Jaguar beautiful bass. In line with the, uh, the pre-existing Jaguar family, this right here, this is a passive active switch. So those that would like to go passive can do it so easily, so gracefully. I always play active, however, a lot of times in the studio, recording, when things are more sensitive, I will go passive. Some engineers prefer that, sometimes I prefer that. But in the live environment, I'm always up, physically and knob-wise. This has got the PJ configuration that is obvious to the eyes. This here is a bass and treble roll knob, super easy, anyone can do it. You've got a volume and you've got a blend of either pickup. I like to keep my blend in the middle because I like them both. We've lost the... Um, the switchboard here from the standard Jaguar. So it is simplified a bit. However, it is busy enough to look cool as shit. I did request the Silver Burst headstock. I find it classy. And uh, anytime you can match your socks and underwear, which I currently do, it's the same here. You've got underwear, socks. It really completes the outfit. This is, uh, this could be a belt buckle here. And it has been in the past. This is, once again, the uh, the icon from Mastodon's Remission album. It's one of my favorite uh, logos. It, it's, it's what it is. It's a worker bee. And this is at the time when we were just spending over 200 gigs a year on the road and we were just trying to work, work, work and get to some sort of recognition around the world. So this, this logo means a lot to me personally and to my band. The triple cherry sundae dessert icing on top. They asked me to put my signature on the guitar. Incredibly humbling. The reason I was uh, super happy to, to do a Jaguar model with the kind folks at Fender is uh, I'd always wanted to have a Jaguar in my arsenal. Two years ago, my younger brother Darren was walking down the street in Kansas City, Missouri, popped into a guitar store, picked out a cherry red Fender Jaguar bass, brought it to me, said happy early birthday. It's been in my hands on stage every gig since he bought it for me. So it was as glorious as I knew it would be. Having always played one ever since I've owned one at every live show, I thought it would be maybe a little unique and interesting to have one, not only a signature model for myself, but to add that to the Fender inventory and uh, have that available to, to every kick-ass bass player who would care to want one. Yeah.